yesterday was insane. This is was so crazy. never happened to us before. <laughs> Hey weirdos, so I am actually on my way to the doctor because I don't know if you guys have noticed, you probably have, but for like the last like month, like there's just been something going on like with my eyes, like I'm sure you guys have could tell, but like, look at that, like it's like creased and like dry and like gross, ew it looks so gross, um, but there's something going on with my eye, I have no idea what it is, it's been going on for about like a month now. It's irritated, it hurts. It's also like a little bit behind my ears, like the red itchiness. I woke up and my eye looked like this. Um, it was like triple the size. Um, so that's not good. So I am on my way, don't worry, I'm completely parked right now. Uh, but I'm on my way to the doctor because I need to know like what's going on. I also have to get my flu shot, go get your flu shot, um, which sucks because the flu shot usually makes me feel like crap. Um, but yeah, so I'm on my way and I will let you guys know uh, what happens when I get out. So I am back out and um, turns out she said, the doctor just said that it was, it was just eczema, which I mean, maybe it could be, it literally could be, but like, I don't know, I just feel like from what I googled which i'm usually right i am usually right um it looked like eyelid dermatitis um and that's what i think it is but she said that she just thinks it's eczema um which i've never had before i've never been diagnosed before with eczema so she says that's what it is um so she told me to stop because i use different which i don't put it around my eyes because obviously um she told me to stop using that for a week to see if that's what it is. But I've been using it for 10 years, so I couldn't imagine that that's what it is. So she told me to stop using that for a week. Uh, and then she prescribed me, I already have it at my house, hydrocortisone, okay? But she said, be very careful like around your eyes, obviously, because it's a steroid. So she said, use it for a week. If it doesn't get better, go back. So um, I am gonna see, we'll see what happens in a week. We'll see what happens in five days uh something like that so hopefully it will get better i have to go and get more hydrocortisone because i do have some but it's not like a lot um and i got my flu shot flu shot and great because i'm probably gonna feel like crap in an hour so so it is actually um uh like four days later i think four or five days later my eye is significantly better as you guys can see like there's only a tiny bit of dryness right there but the swelling has completely gone down uh the redness has completely gone down the like the creased eye look has still has like a little bit as you guys can see right there but like they're both significantly like um better behind my ears is also better the dry patch right here it doesn't itch anymore it's not like bothering me anymore yeah. so i'm really glad because it was so irritating it was so weird she literally like the night before it was perfectly fine like dry obviously but like perfectly fine she woke up the next morning she looked like someone punched her in the face literally it was like insane i should obviously yeah. show you guys a picture already but we did not upload a video yesterday because and we have a very good <laughs> reason yesterday was insane this yesterday is was so crazy. never happened to us before and so it, it this happened so we did not upload a video yesterday <clears throat> because someone hacked into our paypal account mm -hmm. um i got emails and it was saying that they bought like all of this food from like Grubhub and like DoorDash and like all this stuff and because it was like I got like receipts like oh thank you for your payment thank you for and I was like what do you mean mm -hmm. so then I go on to PayPal and I'm like what the hell obviously I like go and dispute it and then I thought okay like it's fine I'll just dispute it like mm -hmm. maybe this is a glitch yeah but it did not stop there literally within like within like minutes it was like email after email after yeah. email after email this girl she changed the phone number on my account. Mm -hmm. She changed the address on my account. She deleted my 
card or like whatever she added her card mm -hmm. um she added like her phone number we had some money in our paypal account that we just hadn't transferred over yet and so she transferred the money to her card yeah and she almost got away with taking three grand yeah so she like changed all of this stuff yeah. and it was literally like insane like yeah. i'm telling you like this was like crazy and it was happening like as i was on the account like yeah. i refreshed it and then i was like the Wait, money she is changed the yeah like at first because you were like oh we have money in there but like she didn't take it and then like literally Alyssa like refreshed it and she's like oh my god she just transferred the money yeah it was happening like real time like, and Alyssa she tried to lock Alyssa out of the account like it was why and I was like I was like on top of it as it was physically happening yeah she also opened up a PayPal credit card in her, I think her name under my thing or something yeah. like that. Obviously, I instantly got on the phone with PayPal. I was instantly like, yo, like yeah. this is not me. I'm not doing this. And so instantly they were like, just verify who you are. Yeah. <clears throat> so I verified obviously who I was. I put a two-step verification. I Which changed, she thought she had on. Yeah. There. I yeah. changed every single thing back. Mm -hmm. um, the only thing that made me kind of like laugh about this situation was like the girl was dumb enough to put her actual name, her actual address, her actual phone number. So I have all of this information. Yeah. And so that happened. And so that happened and I was like, this is weird, mm -hmm. but I got it resolved. I yeah. opened up a case. So I called uh, yeah. the Austin police. Um, I filed like a fraud case. I did that. And I was like, this is fine. This is great. We're going to get the money back in two days. Yeah. Like, it's fine. PayPal Whatever. was great. With then Sam and I were watching TV. This is all still yesterday. Yeah. Sam and I were watching TV. It was like 7 o'clock, 8 o'clock at mm -hmm. night. And all of a sudden, I get five, six, e six, six, e emails. six emails from Wayfair saying, thank you for your purchase. 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 And someone in Indianapolis... Um, who also had their phone number, their address, their name, mm -hmm. all charged, like bought like all of this like gaming system yeah. stuff, this gaming chair stuff, this like like really expensive yeah. like Wayfair stuff, I guess. And like I haven't bought anything in Wayfair for like basically a year. So obviously I go log onto my account right away. Mm -hmm. I removed like his name his address his yeah. phone number but i took a screenshot so i have it all yeah. um i obviously went to the orders i canceled them right away yeah. and obviously then i got onto the phone with wayfair mm -hmm. and i told them what happened i told them this is not me i said can you actually because i had been meaning to delete my wayfair account anyways because i wanted to and i was like can you just completely delete the account i deleted my my card off of there because this was on my credit card yeah. and then i canceled everything that he bought mm -hmm. um and again we have to file like another case but i called like my bank mm -hmm. anyway so obviously you can tell it was a day yesterday we had almost right under four grand stolen from us just like that yeah we obviously got it back thank god we obviously are taking even more measures which we yeah. i already do in general mm -hmm. and then sam's twitter got hacked earlier, yesterday. earlier in that day i had a friend <clears throat> text me and he was like hey like just want to let you know like you have some like weird stuff going on on your twitter and so i went on and it looks like someone had posted like i don't know like Ray-Bans, $24 for 24 hours, like, two, two t tweets like that, whatever. I deleted it, changed my password. So that, like, started off the day super weird. But. Yeah. It was just weird, y'all. Uh, be careful with your stuff. Be careful with your information. Yeah. So it was just so crazy. Yeah. Back to our regular schedule program, and that shit was wild yesterday. Mm -hmm. But Sam and I have been doing a 30-day challenge. Y'all can do it yeah. with us if you want. We actually had already got finished, um working out what but we're doing this four? yeah we're doing this 30-day challenge uh it is 100 push-ups 100 abs and 100 mm -hmm. squats for 30 days yeah. and you can do different variations of those things or whatever but y'all it's great yeah and i think it's a cool thing because it's i think it's easier to work out when you have like a challenge so because we haven't worked out in a few weeks yeah because i know, hurt my back I hurt her back i hurt my neck, neck. so we you know, it helps you physically, obviously. It helps you mentally. And I think we all could use a little bit of that. Yeah. So, 
that is what we were doing. But mm -hmm. now we are gonna go get ready. So the next time you see us, we're gonna look better than this. Hey, okay, so what do you wanna wear? Do you wanna wear that outfit or do you wanna wear this outfit? Can Which one pick? do you wanna wear? You gotta pick one. You gotta pick? You gotta pick one. Hmm. Which one? Which one? You like that this one? This one? All right, all black, I guess. Sounds good. You're gonna match your mama's and we're all black? All right, that's gonna look so cute. Good pick. Cutie. All right, let's get you dressed. And she is ready. Avery, look at me. Avery, look. Ooh, cutie. Cutie, bye-bye. So uh, we just got to the park. We came here yesterday and there was no one here yesterday. Right now there's one, two, three, four, five other cars, but it's like a ginormous. There's multiple different park. soccer fields. There's multiple different yeah. soccer fields. There's multiple different like areas. Like I actually, there's five cars here, but I actually still can't even see. I can't even see a single person. So I saw one guy with a dog. Yeah, so it. we get to, it's nice because we feel safe. It's a completely open area. And we could just like, you know, play with Avery and have a little fun with the soccer ball. So let's go. Got our soccer ball. The reason that we got Avery a soccer ball is because obviously she has like a couple like balls like in uh, her toys. And we noticed that she loved to kick them, that she knew what it meant. And that like she had, um, the right form every single time she kicked. So we got her this soccer ball, um, and she loves it. So, and it's also nice, just like a little, you know, exercise and to get out of the house and make us feel just a little bit normal since we have still been quarantining <laughs> since uh, March. There's currently a dog in the distance and she sees the dog. You Look how cute can't. she looks! She looks so cute. I can't get over this outfit. Oh, OTD, what are you, what are you wearing? Avery, what are you wearing? Say, Zara and Adidas. Oh, <laughs> clunk. Oh, clunk. Hey, you want your soccer ball? <gasps> Come on! Oh, oh, oh. Go get mama. I know, it's funny because yesterday she was in short sleeves and shorts, and we were in like tank tops and leggings. Yeah, and now it's like And now hot. it's freezing. <laughs> I mean, now it's cold, yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 clunk. I just got her scared as crap on the... <laughs> get the ball, get the ball, get the ball. Good job. Good job. Good kicking. You're so talented. <laughs> yeah. Are you so talented? Avery, do you want to hold? Here. Avery, hold. Here, hold on. Let's fix your sweater. <laughs> I, I help you. I help you, okay? Avery vlog. I, I help you, okay? Yeah. I help. Is that baby? Baby. Baby. Yeah, Nick. I help you, okay? Yeah. Okay. Oh, go get mom. Oh, okay. we are done on the field um, for now. I think uh, at least we are in the car because Avery was getting a little antsy pantsy. She is teething again, uh, so she's kind of been very colic-like, we will say. Uh, but she's eat, currently eating her sandwich, and she's so freaking cute. Her little chew is. Probably one of my favorite sounds. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're already also like those moms, you know, like she just played soccer and then like we brought the snacks, you know? Yeah. We didn't no bring, juice boxes. We, we didn't bring oranges, but we brought her an almond butter sandwich, mm -hmm. which is her favorite. Um, yeah. She's eating the whole thing now. Yeah. So. Which is shocking. Yeah. Her teething, she hasn't really been super hungry. Mm hmm Yeah. But. We're just some chilling. Cinnamon raisin bread with some almond butter. Mm-hmm. But so we're just chilling in the car. It's actually really nice to not be in our house because mm -hmm. we have been feeling like we're going like a little insane lately. Uh, so oh, yeah. <laughs> so it's actually nice to like be out and like we'll eventually go home. We have to, you know, but we don't want to right now. Okay, so it is 5:26, and we put we just put Avery down. Um, come here, Moosey. Come on. 
Moose is crying because Alyssa just left to go get us dinner. We actually decided because we couldn't really think of anything to eat tonight. We do like purple carrot. Um, and so we have some meals that we had, but like we weren't really feeling any of them right now. Um, so she actually went and is getting us food from the place that we got Avery's cake from. Um, it's called Mr. Natural. Um, it's vegan vegetarian food. Um, we've had it once before and it was really good. Um, but so we decided to get it again. Um, and yeah, we're just gonna enjoy. Um, Avery was so tired. She literally, we had to cut the book short because we normally read her one or two books when we like give her her last little bit of bottle and like, you know, rock her and whatever. She didn't even make it through a whole book. She was like closing her eyes. Alyssa looks at me and she's like, uh, she's like asleep. <laughs> so she went down a lot of very hard work playing today. Um, but yeah, we will see you when Alyssa gets back with the food. I am back from uh, the place we got food. I wanted to show you guys. Y'all. This, I got some crispy potato uh, soy rizzo tacos with black beans, mm -hmm. Spanish rice. Sam got some fries that I'm gonna have. And then Sam got the Look chicken and that. waffles. Oh my God. Mm -hmm. Wait, try a piece of chicken. Okay, all right. The fries are really good. The fries are really good. I mean, like really, you can't mess up the fries. Okay. Is it? I'm so sad I can't fry it. It's made of complete gluten. Oh. Is it really that good? It's so good. It's actually really good. I'm sorry. I have- It's not. It's actually terrible. She says that to make me feel better. Uh -huh. I have a taco. Mm. Mmm. Oh, it can't look up right now. That taco is really good. Um, anyways, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I wanted to do a little Ask the Darling. Mm -hmm. This question is from Kay Darche. Get it. Darche. Maybe you can answer this. Okay. Has Alyssa ever made anything that she doesn't like because on camera everything is a 10? Everything on camera that I do make is it's a, a 10, 10 actually mm -hmm. because the mess ups i do not put on and there have been there have been um so there was this one time like back a couple weeks ago where Alyssa was trying this like new mac and cheese recipe oh yeah um it was a recipe i found online i didn't make it up no yeah it wasn't like her own recipe but it used a lot of vegan cheese and like both of us can do like a good amount of vegan cheese but how much it called for was like a disgusting amount it just tasted like it tasted like we were going to make ourselves sick yeah after, it was not sure. good yeah so don't good. don't get me wrong i would say eight out of the ten times it's always good mm -hmm. i feel like there's yeah. always the random two times when I find a recipe and I'm like, I get really excited. Yeah. And then. But that's like very random. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah. I hope they answered your question. If you want to mm -hmm. ask, if you want us to answer your question, you want to shout out, use the hashtag Ask Darling in the, in the comment section. Yeah. Wow. And we love you guys. Bye. Bye.